Hello to all of you, the viewers of Berlin Daily Culture. With me here in the studio is Darius Kordek, an actor. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you for inviting me. And we have your CD here with us. Kordek sings Bodo. So to our viewers, let's first who actually was Bodo, because we know already who Kordek is. He's with us. Yeah. Uh, Bodo was a great, uh, great star, great uh, celebrity of 20s and 30s in Poland. He was a Renaissance man. He did uh, acting, singing, dancing, producing films, uh, writing films. He uh, he had with uh, two other guys uh, a big production production uh, uh, company. In those ancient times, he was such a contemporary man because because he did many things. He was the first person in Poland who did the product placement. So he put actually products during his shows in a form of advertisement. Yeah? Especially in films, in the films, in the movies. I yeah, the movies. It, it were products of uh, Vedel, of Kelman, the, the, the so big, big brands, big brands before of, the war. of those times. And of course, we can say that Bodo was a huge character and actor and uh, performer in those 20 years of independence when Poland was waking up to be independent again, mature. And then here comes Bodo, who is so talented. He knows how to sing, he knows how to dance. He is also popular. He melts women's hearts because yeah. he's so handsome. And then the Soviets, uh, put him in a camp. Yes, uh, his story is very tragic because uh, he died in, in a, I can say, death camp uh, on Siberia. Being sent there by, by the Soviets after the yeah, yeah. beginning of the World War II. Be it was because, because uh, of his uh, nationality the, the, and his passport. He was from Switzerland. Yeah, he, his mother was with yeah, his father, yeah. yes, his so father. he has a double And that's passport. why uh, uh, Soviets mentioned that he's a spy. Oh, I see. He so, wasn't. No, of course he wasn't a spy. He was a character, but he was also a free spirit, and that's what yeah. the Soviets hated the most. But about this project, we did it, this project four years ago, just after the TV series, which were TV1. We perform it... Uh, about 100 plus 100 times in Poland. So it's very uh, successful project, I can say. Yeah, you have 10 songs here, which yeah. are the songs which Bodo used to sing himself before yeah. the war. And those are such, uh, uh, such titles as Sex Appeal, by uh, Emanuel Schlechter and uh, Ostatnia Niedziela, which yeah. is a very famous title. Very famous all over the world. And, yes, and it yeah. was translated many, many, uh, to many languages. Zenon Friedwald was, yeah. the, uh, was the author of the text, of the lyrics. And Oki or Tango Milonga, which are all like... Very nice project. Everyone knows those songs. Yeah, yeah. So it becomes a musical, yes? Uh, a music uh, project. It's, a, it's, a, it's not typical musical, but... Uh, it's a small chamber musical for audience all over the Poland. As I said, we played it. We still play it, but not not so so much as uh, two or three years ago. But it's uh, I can say it's still on the repertoire. Oh, I see. So, <laughs> so it's still there, and of course, Bodo is very popular as still until today. And those songs melt our hearts, and they are, I would say already immortal. To all of you, the viewers of Berlin Daily, if you are interested in Bada and you would like to listen to it in a modern version on a stage, then we can recommend this Kardec CD or just go to the, one of the, his shows here in Poland whenever you, he will be playing and watch it yourself. And thank you very much for staying with us and watching Poland Daily Culture.